Now the first step is to add Battlefield 6 game to exploit protection. Now for this you can type in exploit protection in Windows search box and then click on exploit protection over here. And then go to program settings, click on add a program to customize, choose exact file path and then go to the game installation folder. If the game is installed in Steam, you can go to the Steam location if you have the game on EA app. So you can open EA games folder, open Battlefield 6, select the game EXE file and then click on open and then put a check on override system settings for all the option. For all the option, put a check on override system settings and you have to turn each option off. So suppose if this is on, you have to turn this off. If this is on, turn it off. So put a check on override and turn off all the option and then hit apply. Click on yes and then launch the game. If that does not work, you can click on choose exact file once again. Select EA anti-cheat game service launcher. Do the same thing. Put a check on override system settings, turn off all, all, all the option, hit apply and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to turn off smooth motion in NVIDIA app. So type in NVIDIA app. If you have NVIDIA app, you can open NVIDIA app. If you don't have it, you can install it if you have NVIDIA card and then go to graphics settings over here and then select Battlefield 6. Select Battlefield 6 and once you select Battlefield 6 on the right hand side, uh, you can go to over here, scroll down smooth motion. If this is on, turn it off. Go to global settings and again, turn off the smooth motion, turn it off and then relaunch the game. Now the next step is to disable all kinds of mods before you launch Battlefield 6. So if you have this Frosty fix, you can disable all the mods and then relaunch the game. Next step is to delete storage pool. Now you will lose the data present on a storage pool or storage space when you do so. So create a backup first because you will lose all the data which is there in storage pool when you delete it and you can do it at your own risk. So for this, you can open Windows settings, go to store uh, system and then you can go to storage and then advanced storage settings, storage spaces. Now, if you have any uh, storage pool over here, in my case, I don't have it. If you have it, if you agree, you can delete it, create a backup because you will lose all the data. If you want to know about, know more about the storage spaces, you can uh, go to Microsoft website and you can go through this. And once you delete it, you should be able to launch the game. This has worked for many players, so it's not about free. Next step is to check or uncheck DLC. Now, if you have the game on Steam, I don't have the game on Steam. I have added the game from EA app to Steam. So if you have the game on Steam, select the game. I'll show you a different game. Once you select the Battlefield 6, 6 now, on the right hand side, you will see manage DLC. Now over here, if you see HD texture pack, you can just uncheck DLC and then relaunch the game. If this is already unchecked, you can put a check and then you can launch the game. Now, if you have the game on EA app, then you can click on manage, modify, install, expand this. And then if you have this multiplayer HD texture, you can uncheck this and uh, single player also, if you want, you can uncheck this HD texture, uncheck it update install up once updated launch the game if it is already unchecked you can put a check and then check now the next step is to disconnect internet launch the game once the game is running connect to the internet now for this you can go to you can disconnect your wi-fi or you can turn off uh, you can unplug your ethernet cable and once you are disconnected uh, on e app or steam both will go offline once the e app goes offline you can launch the game from here and once the game is up and running, you can connect to the internet once again. And then the EA app will refresh and it will go online and then you can check. It will automatically go online. Now the next step is to repair, uninstall and, re and reinstall EA anti-cheat. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to EA website. On this website, you will see EA Javelin anti-cheat installer. Click on it and then run this exe file. Click on it and then click on yes to allow. Now select Battlefield 6 over here. Click on repair. Click on OK. Go to the game installation folder and select the complete Battlefield 6 folder over here and then click on select folder. 
and let the repair complete. Once you see install success over here, then relaunch the game and then check. This may take some time to repair. Once you see install success, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, select Battlefield 6 once again over here. And then from the drop down option, select Battlefield 6. And then click on update. And once the update is success, now launch the game and then check. Still not working. This time, select Battlefield 6, uninstall, and then click on install. Now, install success. Now launch the game and then check. Still not working. Select Battlefield 6 once again. Click on uninstall. Do not install. Close this. You can go to EA app or Steam and you can launch the game. And during the launch, it will install EA and cheat. Now click on yes to allow and let it, uh, it will install EA anti cheat and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to create a new admin account. Now this has also worked for many players so you can open Windows settings, go to accounts and then go to other users over here and then click on add account. Now over here, uh, click on I don't have this person's sign in information, click on it. And then click on add a user without a Microsoft account over here. And then you can create a username. This is just an example. If you want a password, you can enter the password. If you don't want it, you can leave it blank. Click on next and then click on the new account, change account type. You can set this as an administrator over here. Click on OK and then you can now you can relaunch the game. Uh, actually, you have to log out. Sorry, log out, log out and login. Or you can restart your computer, lock your computer, and then you can log into the new account which you have created. And then you have to install the game and then relaunch the game and then check. Now the next step is to set GST render DX12 to one. Now for this you can open File Explorer, go to Documents over here, and then open Battlefield 6 Settings. Now make a right click on Proceed Profile and then open with Notepad. And over here, find, uh, over here find Direct DX12. Uh, so here you can see GST Render DX12 Enable is set to zero. You can type in one over here and then go to File, click on Save, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working, you can rename the Battlefield 6 folder, create a backup first because you will lose all the saved settings and save game progress. And if you have beta folder, you can delete the beta folder as well. If you have six, then open beta, you can delete it. And then you can copy this folder, create a backup paste. Once you have a backup created over here, now you can go back, rename it. And then you can uh, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to try these in launch options. So you can go to Steam. If you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, type in dash DX12, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Uh, in that case, you can remove it. And EA app users can go to EA app, manage, uh, view properties, advanced launch option type in dash dx11 save it launch launch the game and then check if that does not work type in dash dx12 save it launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this save it close it follow the next step now the next step is to try debug mode in nvidia control panel go to desktop make a right click on show more option click on nvidia control panel over here Once NVIDIA control panel is open, you can go to help option and then put a check on debug mode. Once debug mode is checked, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to disable integrated graphic card. Now for this, make a right click in the game, uh, make a right click in the start menu. Go to device manager, expand display adapter over here. And then we can see integrated graphic card. If your computer has a dual graphic card, you can make a right click on integrated graphic, graphic card and then click on disable de device. And once you disable it, relaunch the game and then check. Once you are done playing the game, you can enable, enable it once again. Once you're done playing the game, make a right click, enable device and then 
check. Now, next step is to repair or verify the game files. So if you have the game on e app, click on repair over here, manage repair. If that does not work, like if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrity of game files. After the verification, launch the game. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, you can go, go to the game installation folder and then make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, go to properties, this tab, put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. You can even try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. You can even try disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes. Hit apply, click on OK. And then make a right click on EA anti cheat game service launcher and run as administrator and then check. Still not working. The next step is to, if able to launch the game, switch from PAX to NATO. Now, this has worked for many players uh, to fix the crash. Now, once you launch the game, now go to loadouts over here and then you can over here if this is set to pax armata you can switch to nato over here and then you can check this has worked for many players so it might work for you now still not working the next step is to install visual c plus plus file now for this you can go to microsoft website the link is provided in the video description scroll down download this x86 and x64 run both the exe file Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install, click on yes to allow. Download this x64 file as well. And then run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. And let the installation complete. Once both are installed, then restart the computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to Steam users run EA app in the background. If you have the game on Steam, type just open e app and keep it running in the background if e app is already running still not working you can make a right click exit e app close e app and then check i had the game on e app so let me open the e app now the still not working the next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel and then go to hard, hardware and sound power options if um, now over here, if you I have only balanced, but if you have power saver like this, you can select power saver and then launch the game. You can even go for balanced or high performance, but first of all, try power saver and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Next step is to turn off or turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now for this, type in graphics settings in Windows search box, click on graphics settings, go to advanced graphics settings. If hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if this is off, turn it on relaunch the game and then check if that does not work you can even turn it off if it is already on turn it off and then check try both next step is to update the bios this is uh, this has also worked for many players so you can go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and update your bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer next step is to close these tools so if you have this daemon tools running on your computer you can open task manager and then you can go to task manager if you find daemon tools make a right click end the task and also if you have it in de device manager make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager if you have this running you can just uh, disable it is under storage and universal here you can see in my case i have already disabled disable it in the device manager you can reinstall in future you can even uninstall it restart the computer and then check if you want you, if you need this application, you can reinstall in future. If you have DS4, RE, WSD, Auto, Hotkey, Joy2, Key, Razer, Corsair, ICUE, Face It, Anti Cheat, Riot, Vanguard. So if you have multiple applications running like me over here, just close all the application over here. And if you have it running in the device uh, and like Task Manager, uh, you can go to Task Manager and the tasks from there. Close everything.
if you have this either mouse logitech rain meter game companion app running wife uh, wipe board wipes vr software running close it end it in the task manager disable it in the device manager if present if you have this xbdd sc si mini port corsair bus in device manager make our activity disable it you can even uninstall these application and then check if you have like vlc codec wallpaper engine msi apps running close it zaprat app close it or uninstall it crypto pro punk buster you can uninstall these application from the computer goodbye dpi app troubleshooting is not limited to these application if you have any third party application or services running close close those application and its services in task manager and disable it in the device manager if present now the next step is to disconnect usb devices like if you have usb flash drive thumb drive any kind of usb adapter uh, disconnect it, disconnect razor handspan or key core on keyboard or mouse, unplug the dongle, unplug external devices like you have hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected to the computer, disconnect it, disconnect headphone, launch the game, reconnect the headphone, disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So if nothing is working, in that case you can uninstall the game. After you uninstall the game, you can install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel